Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So my Tom Nook and Isabella from build bear has just been delivered. So we're gonna unbox them. They came in a big box. There is a hole in the box. So I'm not sure if someone kind of punched it in wanting to see what was inside and then left it alone. We're gonna look at both stuffed animals and I'm also going to be working on a comparison video with the ones that I got from the Nintendo store for the past two or three years. They're a lot bigger in size. So I wanna dedicate a whole video comparing these to those cause there's some pros and cons to both. Starting off with Tom Nook, he looks super cute. Here's the tag and here's his outfit. It is very soft and very cuddly and it does have Velcro. I did get asked earlier in my other video if these clothes are removable and just like everything else in Build-A-Bear, they are removable um, and there's a hole for his tail, which is cute. So I'm happy about that. If you have other Build-A-Bear clothes, generally they'll fit most stuffed animals. There are a couple of exceptions to that, but I think he's really cute. I did get the six sounds in one, so I'm gonna play it for you. Hopefully the camera will pick up on it. It's very cute. It's exactly what the website shows you, that little demo. And you can hear them pretty well, even through the stuffing of the bear. The other option would have been to just get the general theme song. I thought about it, but I just figured the sounds were cuter. I really like the little sounds it makes when all the characters in Animal Crossing are speaking. And also, you can see the Welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons tag on the right foot. Um, it's really cute. I'm actually happy with the stuffed animal. I think it's a lot cuter in person than it was when I first saw the promo pics because if you saw my previous video, then you know how disappointed I was at the fact that it was Isabel and Nook, but we're gonna get into that after I unbox Isabel. Now we have Isabel, so she's looking really cute in her outfit, which is again, removable it has the velcro her tail is not in the little hole that might have just moved or it might not even fit there because her tail is kind of big so let me actually see so i did fix that you can see the detailing of the two little bells on her head she looks super duper cute again she has the same exact sounds as nook does her sounds are on this paw as well Um, six in one and it's on this paw and then on her foot it has the welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons logo as well she's super soft super cute um, I like Tom Nook a little bit more originally I liked Isabel more before it got here but now I'm kind of leaning more towards Tom Nook in the plushies that I got from the Nintendo store in Manhattan uh, she has real bells so when you shake her it makes that sound which I think is cute detailing but the special part about Build-A-Bear stuffed animals is obviously that they're customizable when you go in store stores because these will be hitting stores in summer then you can do the heart ceremony and it's a really cute moment especially if you have kids or teens in your life these make great gifts it's just a cute ceremony i love doing it when i was working there but overall i do enjoy these plushies i really want to know your opinion though did you skip out on these or did you actually buy them or what villagers are you looking forward to hopefully build a bear releasing i know they said they're in the works for one already i'm hoping it's not kk slider but i have a feeling it might be i would even settle for a cute tommy or a cute Timmy. I think that would be a nice idea, but I really want Celeste or Stitches, Fauna. Those are some of my favorite villagers. There's just so many options out there that I really hope they choose to expand on this. Also, it did come with the two typical birth certificates that Build-A-Bear stuffed animals come with. This is always an optional step when you are buying it online. I did end up doing it, but there's obviously nothing special or like uniquely decorated for this collection. Did you like these? Did you think they were all right? Did you think they were ugly? What's the deal? Let me know down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would like to join the Bunny Club here on my channel, it's my channel membership. I will have 
have the link and all the information in the description box below. And yeah, I upload three times a week, so stay tuned for the Nintendo comparison video because I have no idea where those stuffed animals are. They're so gigantic, but I cannot find them anywhere. But once I do, we're going to do a full breakdown, full comparison, because if you go to New York City, um, it's a good option. I'm not sure where else they sell them. That's the one bad thing about the Nintendo store is that they don't have their full selection online. But hopefully that might change in the future. You never know at the time that I'm filming this. It's not there. But if you made it to the end, once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Stay safe out there. Bye.